So I decided I want to make a um, simple electronics kit to enter into the competition over on Instructables at this moment in time and I decided to have a look at uh, some kits you can buy off the shelf and just look at how they're designed and the instructions and you know how, how all the components are put together to make it as easy as possible for you to follow. And if we have a look at some of these uh, circuit boards that come with the kits they have um, images and also lettering on here to show you where to place the components the um, have resistor values here and the outline shape of the resistor so uh, you can just get the resistor out of the kit and uh, put it in those two holes there and solder it up so just to make it as easy um, as you can when you're uh, putting a kit together so there's the uh, dill socket for the pick chip that's uh, going to be where the battery goes I think and that sort of thing and here's another one here and again it's images the um, transistors there you can uh, line them up with the three pins because they've got a flat side to them just like the resist uh, just like the transistor has sorry and uh, again resistors they're all marked out and capacitors and uh, Here's another one. It's uh, one I have put together. It's a little pick chip, pick chip uh, programmer, and uh, again, it's uh, it's labelled out nice and clear, so you can follow it. And here's a little uh, circuit kit that um, I designed when he was to work in a school. And if you flip it over, I've done a similar sort of thing here. I've marked out where the power goes, the switch, the LED, the inputs for the potentiometer input in for the um, for the jack for the uh, audio in and uh, power so they're all marked not every point is marked but uh, most of them to make it a little bit easier to follow and it's just a simple uh, amplifier circuit based on the LM380N chip and um, it's quite easy to put together it's uh, not a lot of components three capacitors there capacitor here LED, two resistors, one resistor for the LED switch and um, away you go, you've got yourself an amplifier so uh, I was uh, actually thinking about entering this competition making a uh, similar kit to this but then I uh, changed my mind and came up with a uh, different idea so I got the uh, idea that I've come up with from uh, looking at this packet of uh, painkillers and uh, if you notice here it says uh, ibuprofen 200 meg, meg capsules but uh, here there's actual braille that um, also tells somebody who's visually impaired what's actually in this packet so I was actually thinking if we could make a electronics kit for somebody who's visually impaired but instead of um, putting on here things like power volume everything like that if we could do it in braille so they could actually feel and decide where to put the resistors themselves because um, education needs to be as independent as possible so the more you can do for somebody to make their learning experience independent the more they're going to learn now they would probably still need help um, guiding in the soldering iron and applying the solder probably need to guide their hands but um, otherwise putting the actual kit together placing the resistors and capacitors if we have it marked out in braille then that's something they can do themselves and by doing that they can also get in their mind's eye they can get a picture of how the circuit actually works and the interaction of uh, all these different components together actually uh, put them together in a certain sequence then you can actually produce some kind of output from an input so I just feel that if we could do that then it'd help somebody like that understand electronics a little bit better so I decided to base it on uh, this particular circuit here using the LM380N chip and uh, make a little audio amplifier a simple mono circuit that um, could be put together in a kit form and I also want to simplify this a little bit as well, the actual circuit itself because uh, we can do away without the potentiometer and we can uh, remove the LED 
and if we remove that LED we don't need this resistor in here anymore and this capacitor we can do away with this capacitor and we could possibly even remove this uh, resistor here but um, I wanted to keep a resistor in just so um, you've got experience of using a, a couple of different components but still keeping it quite simple so I've redesigned this circuit using these three capacitors here they're all the same value and uh, got this resistor and the actual chip and switch um, a speaker for the uh, output volume and an input jack and the uh, battery source so keeping it as simple as possible so what I've done I've, um, I actually use circuit wizard to design my circuits and uh, I will include all the files and everything that you can download and uh, possibly replicate this yourselves if you want to but um, I decided to make the actual circuit board a lot bigger than uh, the original one the one I've just showed you here so as well as removing some components I've actually made it a lot bigger as well and the solder pads themselves um, even if somebody with um, a visual impairment is having their hands guided with the solder and the soldering iron it's still a tricky thing to do um, so I've made the solder pads quite big um, a lot bigger so you can actually get in there with a soldering iron and you don't have to be as accurate if um, say it's a normal size solder pad like that one there so um, that's something I've done and changed and uh, like I said I removed a lot of the components that we can do without to keep it as simple as possible so that's the uh, design that I've come up with and uh, you just basically you've got a speaker output you've got your input and you've got a switch and a power source and three capacitors and a resistor now what I thought is if we use a double sided board and on this side we've got all the tracks and the components etc and then on the other side instead of uh, letter numbering lettering um, in letters the components if we uh, actually use braille and I thought we could do it by actual uh, putting uh, little tiny solder pads and uh, then developing this board and etching the, etching the copper off to leave these little solder pads here that are marked out in braille for the different uh, components like this one is battery but uh, it's reverse I'll talk about that in a minute and uh, you should be able to rub your finger along here and uh, pick up the uh, braille and make out what it actually says and uh, what I intend to do is if it's if it's a little bit difficult to pick up is we can go in and we can tin these with a little bit of solder to raise them up to give them that little curve to make it a lot easier to pick up with your finger so that's what I've decided to do and I'm going to use some double sided board here and all you have to remember is is you've got this image here but the braille is actually a mirror image so um, it's actually that way around and that's the letter B those two dots for example there so you're reading it along that way so uh, you have to remember when you're developing this board is you've got your um, images the correct way around so you get a proper image on here and you don't actually get it backwards but other than that it's um, quite simple to do and you can actually do it with just uh, the normal software you would use to uh, design a circuit board so I'm not doing anything special here I'm not having to buy any special components or anything like that it's just uh, I'm actually using a double sided board instead of a single sided board now one other thing I'm going to do as well uh, to make this board is I'm going to do one side at a time so I'm going to expose this side I'm going to transfer the image on here then I'm going to etch that side off and then what I'm going to do I'm going to protect that side then when it's etched off with some um, just normal sticky tape and then expose this side and then etch this side off so I'm not going to do it all at once now the reason I'm not going to do it all at once is because um, there's a lot more copper to etch off on this transfer here than on this one and I'm just a little bit worried that um, this one will be etched off before this side 
and leaving it in to uh, etch the copper off on this side we might actually start damaging this side over etching it sort of thing so if we do one side at a time I think that'll be a lot safer it'll take a little bit longer but um, we'll probably end up um, with a uh, better product at the end of it so uh, that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to uh, etch one side of this and then etch the other side of it now I have shown you in a previous video um, how to etch at home and how easy it is to etch at home so I'm not going to go into that in too much detail here if you're interested then check out one of my previous videos on how to etch circuit board and also how to make your own bubble etch tank so the braille dots have come out rather well and you can feel them underneath your finger like I intended but if we compare it to this uh, packet with uh, braille on here these just seem a little bit more pronounced than uh, plain solder pads so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a little bit of tin on each one it'll take me a little bit of time but that should give me a nice oval feel to uh, the braille itself It'll be much easier to pick up so I've gone around the board now and I've uh, touched up all those little pads put a little ball of solder on each and it's made a big difference you can really feel the braille underneath your finger now so I don't think anybody who's visually impaired will have any trouble reading that whatsoever um, also the arrow there I've gone and flooded that with a little bit of solder to uh, raise that up a little bit because uh, that shows you the position of the chip so you, you can put it in the right way around because these chips have a little dot here and I'm hoping that uh, you'll be able to make that out and feel that dot so uh, you can go ahead and put that into the uh, dill socket that will be with the kit as well so uh, you can put the chip in the correct way around as well so this is the kit with all the components in place it's uh, like I say it's a really really simple circuit but um, the way I've designed it it would give um, somebody who's visually impaired a lot of uh, experience and a lot of skill and I'm sure they'd really enjoy it because 90% of this they're putting together themselves now I haven't soldered any of these components in place the only thing I have soldered is the dill socket because all the other solder pads have made uh, quite enlarged like I said previously make it easier to um, help to solder onto but uh, the dill socket I can't make those larger because they're a standard size so um, I've soldered that in place and still place the chip in uh, manually though so uh, I wouldn't uh, have the chip in place you can still do that because I made that um, arrow there raised with some solder so you can line that up with the dot there now I purposely I haven't soldered this circuit together and I know it works it's a circuit I've been making for a long long time but um, I've actually got enough boards to make four of these I've already made two and what I want to do is if anybody who's uh, watching this video on YouTube or reads it over on Instructables and they want to get in touch with me and they want um, me to send them one of these boards I don't mind posting it out um, to anywhere if uh, you think uh, you can make use of one of these and if you could uh, give some feedback as well on uh, how you found it or if you've got a child who's visually impaired or you work in a school and if you could let me know um, any changes you think I could make to make it a little bit better then uh, please uh, drop a comment and uh, like I say it's, it's not uh, a big heavy piece of kit it only costs a few pounds to send it to uh, most places I would have thought so like I say I've only got four of these but uh, I'm willing to um, ship them out if you uh, get in touch with me and um, hopefully you can uh, give me some feedback on it so here's a kit all finished ready for somebody to use now here I've put in braille and uh, the also the written word here now I haven't figured out a way to actually raise that up I mean this is only a prototype at this uh, at this minute 
so when I do figure it out then I'll uh, do that as well but so far I haven't figured out a way to uh, raise it up to uh, give the the actual braille like um, I don't know where, what word you use like texture so you can feel it under your finger there so uh, at the minute that's just there as a prototype to uh, show how uh, it could be laid out and you've got your circuit board over here uh, with your dill socket already soldered in and you've got your three capacitors, you've got your resistor, your speaker and your jack plug and so on and uh, as I think I already mentioned the uh, it's a lot easier if uh, these are all pre-soldered onto wires just to make it less fiddly so uh, pre-soldered and cut and uh, tinned ready to be put into place and this is uh, just an old DVD case and um, I basically put a card inside it and some double sided tape just to hold the components down so here's the finished kit and it's uh, in the DVD case and it's all uh, one nice neat little package and you've got the uh, braille instructions on uh, the side next to the components telling you where, what components they are and uh, the instructions uh, actually etched straight on the circuit board as well um, if anybody works in the industry I mean uh, this is something that could be done quite easily without having to spend uh, a lot of money on new equipment, new manufacturing uh, equipment um, it can be done just like I have um, with existing equipment and existing software so I can't see this uh, costing a great deal of money to actually produce uh, for one of the big companies so uh, you know if uh, if you do work at uh, one of those companies then uh, please by all means uh, let the uh, R&D department know and uh, I think uh, something like this could be produced for not much more than uh, a standard kit and again if uh, you have got a child or you work in school and uh, you think uh, you want to have a go at uh, using one of the kits then uh, drop me an email because uh, I have got four of them and I'll be quite happy to uh, ship them out if uh, you'll uh, give me some feedback on it and uh, things I can improve so uh, I do hope you enjoyed this uh, this um, video I mean a little bit different to what I normally do I have designed it to enter into that competition on instructables so uh, please if you uh, like this uh, this uh, tutorial then uh, please vote for it and uh, as normal um, if you uh, like this uh, video please give it a big thumbs up any comments uh, any changes you think I could make to it then uh, let me know below in the comments bo box and um, all the files are down there as well to download and um, please uh, if you want to see uh, more videos like this then uh, always subscribe and uh, take care and I'll Catch you next time.